Welcome in, Wiffle Ball fans. It is the game you have all been waiting for. The 2020 Fox Lake Wiffle Ball Tournament Championship game. And what a matchup we have. It'll be the two-seeded Claw versus the Apes. These teams met earlier and it ended in a walk-off. So it is sure to be good. Round two, Alex Haas is leading it off for the Claw. And what a guy to lead it off. He's leading the league in home runs, hits, RBIs, but he wears that one and takes a walk down to first base. He was hit there by Apes ace Mark Ogden, the three-time Cy Young Award winner. A perfect 2-0 this year, but his ERA a lot higher than his career average due to the increased walks this year. But he's got his team in the championship game, and his next target is the defending rookie of the year, Nick Everett. Nick leading the FLT in batting average this season. He's actually the career leader in batting average coming into this season. So bad news for the Apes. They're going to have to face Alex Haas and then Nick Everett every three batters. And speaking of the Claws three, here is their lineup. Alex Haas, the pitcher in the one spot. Nick Everett in the two. And Isaiah Tmeyer, the captain, will be batting third as Nick Everett takes one down the middle there. Oh, and a perfectly placed pitch there by Mark Ogden will be the first out of the championship game. And let's see how both these teams got to the championship game. Two different methods. The Apes got the one seed, won their first two games, and they are here just going 2-0 in the playoffs. Apes' first game was against the Claw, which sent them to the farthest part of the loser's bracket. And the Claw have won three straight elimination games to make it back to this one. They are hot, their pitchers are hot, their hitters are hot. They are a tough team to play right now. As their captain, Isaiah Tmeyer, steps up to the plate. One of the games where both the captains are batting last in their order, prioritizing other players. Here's the Apes on defense. They've got Mark pitching, which you have seen, and their captain, Tanner Peterson, in the outfield. Both the captains here know their role on their team and are letting their stars go at it. Both great GMs who have made some great acquisitions to just let their team coast and uh, let the players do it themselves. But Isaiah Tmeyer is going to help out the team. He's not going to stand idle. Well, actually he is, and he's going to take a walk. Put him on first and second here with one out. DeClaw got a runner in scoring position early in this one. Here's the pitch from Ogden to Haas. Haas is going to pop it up on the infield. Mark Ogden camped out under it, and he'll bring it in for a big out number two. That'll bring Nick Everett back up to the plate. Mark Ogden is going to scrape the plate with that one, and that will load the bases here with two outs in the FLT Championship. Not many moments bigger than this for Isaiah Tmeyer coming up to the plate. Tmeyer here, 3-1 count. He lets the riser rise for ball four, and that will be the first run of the 2020 championship. The Claw get the lead early in this one. Another 3-1 count here from Mark Ogden. And another walk. Mark Ogden cannot seem to find the zone, and the Claw are just going to wait until he can. Walk in another run, Alex Haas. It'll be two to nothing. Mark Ogden not even going to hit the goal behind the strike zone. That will be another walk. The claw walk around their batting order. And it'll be 3 0 here with the bases still loaded. 1 2 pitch here from Ogden. And Mark Ogden does what he does best. He perfectly places a pitch there to send us to the bottom of the first. But the claw strike early. It'll be 3 nothing claw as we head to the bottom of the first in this three-inning championship game. Apes coming to the plate. Mark Ogden will be leading it off here. The Apes using their classic two-man lineup. 
Mark Ogden, Tanner Peterson. They've never deviated from it in their franchise history and in their franchise's four championship games. As I said, Mark Ogden leading it off. He's only played four games this year, but he already has seven home runs and 31 RBIs, some great hitting numbers, as he's found himself in a 1-1 count here against Alex Haas, who has been the workhorse for DeClaw this year and might possibly be the best pitcher in the league this year, but that'll mean nothing without an FLT championship this season. He's in the W column right now. He's hoping to continue that forward. And he gets Mark Ogden on the curveball there that missed the zone low. But Mark Ogden swinging through that one for the first out of the inning. That'll bring Tanner Peterson to the plate. He hit the walk-off home run when the Apes walked off the claw earlier in the playoffs to send them to the loser's bracket. And he's looking to hit some more home runs in this one to give himself his fourth ring. Or maybe he's looking for a walk. That's probably the case here as he's in a 2-0 count. And that one will hit him and put him on first base, and he'll get that walk he is always looking for. Mark Ogden, the lefty now at the plate. His leg kind of looked like it twitched there before the ball hit him. Uh, nevertheless, it'll be a walk, and the Apes will have first and second here with one out. The 3-0 pitch here from Alex Haas, and it barely misses to Alex Haas' disgust as Peterson never swings 3-0, and he will load up the bases for Mark Ogden. Mark Ogden, the lefty, also in a 3-0 count. Also lets one just hit inches off the zone. And that'll be the Apes' first run of the game, however they can get him. Full count pitch here from Alex Haas to Tanner Peterson. And Peterson rips it down the line. He is tired of walking, just kidding. He never is, but he hits a grand slam there to give the Apes a two-run lead at four to the score. It's 5-3 Apes as the fireworks fly here at Silver Stadium. What a way to put a dent in the scoreboard in the championship game. Mark Ogden will let it ring off the pipe there as the Apes will get another base runner here with just one out as we have the flyover going on right now. Tanner Peterson stepping up to the plate hoping to add two more runs to the score. And rip down the line again. Fair or foul. And the umpire's going to call fair. He will add two to the score. And it'll be seven to three apes as Peterson goes back-to-back -back home runs and back-to-back at-bats. -back He'll bring himself and Mark Ogden around to increase that lead. And Mark Ogden pops it up. T. Meyer camped under it, and he'll bring it in for the second out of the inning. Tanner Peterson coming up, trying to make it three at-bats in a row with three home runs. We'll see if he can do it. Here comes the pitch from Haas. Peterson hits it, not a home run, up the middle. T. Meyer chasing, gets it into Haas, but he will be safe as he beats the throw to first base, and the Apes will have yet another base runner early in this one. And Mark Ogden will let that one hit the top of the wood and walk on down to first base, moving a run into scoring position here with two outs. Peterson, first pitch swinging, first pitch dinging, a three-run shot for the 5'6", 130 hitter 
as he will round the bases and add three more to the Apes score. Extend the lead to seven as they've put up double digits here in the bottom of the first. And the 2-2 pitch will find its home in the bottom of the zone. And that will put the claw out of their misery. The apes do the damage. They put up a 10 spot here in the first. The claw down 7 as we will head to the second inning here in the 2020 Fox Lake Wiffle Ball Tournament Championship. Ogden to Haas. And Ogden cannot find the zone. And Alex Haas will walk on down to first base. 3-1 pitch here from Mark Ogden to Nick Everett. And make it 4-1 and make it two leadoff base runners here for the call. They'll have first and second with no outs. Just how they wanted to start the inning. Full count pitch here. And Mark Ogden, not even close, loads the bases on three straight walks here with still zero outs. The claw, huge chance to cut this deficit. And Alex Haas chases the riser for the first out of the inning. Tried to crush that one into the bean field, but it would not go. And back-to-back -back punch outs by Mark Ogden holds that runner at third base. And now they've got bases loaded, two outs. And Mark Ogden misses wide again to T. Meyer. And that will walk in that run from third. It'll be 10-4. Ape still up big, but the claw got the bases loaded. A hit here could be huge. Payoff pitch here from Ogden to Haas. And he bounces it to the board. And that will cut the deficit to five as the Claw walk in yet another run. Three one pitch here. Mark Ogden cannot find the zone. And the deficit's now just four runs. The tying run comes to the plate in the form of Isaiah T. Meyer. And Mark Ogden bounces that one again. And the deficit has been cut in half just from Mark Ogden missing the strike zone. It's now 10-7, Apes. Claw now have the tying run on first base. Here comes the pitch from Mark Ogden to Alex Haas. And Mark Ogden puts it just over the middle of the strike zone. And that will be the third strike and the third out. We will head to the bottom of the second where the Apes will come up and try to rebuild their lead. The Claw have cut it down to three, but the Apes still on top. They could be six outs away from going back to back. Tanner Peterson's going to be leading it off here. And I don't know what the heck that was. We will leave it at that. That's a strikeout there from Alex Haas to Tanner Peterson. Mark Ogden coming up here with one out. And Mark Ogden puts a charge into one, but... Height over distance on that one, and Alex Haas was camped out right under it for the second out of the inning. And they will not get the 1-2-3 inning as Tanner Peterson had a dance out of danger there on ball four. The Apes will have a two-out base runner. And another two-out walk will move a runner into scoring position for Tanner Peterson coming up to the plate. 
but before he does, the claw might make a pitching change here. Alex Haas conferring with Nick Everett to see how they should move forward in this one. And it looks like Alex Haas is going to give him the mound. Nick Everett, the defending rookie of the year, is going to come into this one. It's his fifth game of the season. He's mainly only come in in low leverage situations just to get some experience. He has that deadly riser that'll start at your ankles as it passes the plate and it'll end up in the heart of the strike zone. Nick Everett coming in. Two on, two out in a three-run ball game in the 2020 Fox Lake Wiffle Ball Tournament Championship. He lobs one into Tanner Peterson on the 3-0 count. No bite there from Peterson. And Mark Ogden will come up. Bases loaded. Two outs. And the 3-1 pitch will bounce before the zone. And that will walk in a run. The Apes expand that lead back up to four. Here comes the pitch from Nick Everett to Tanner Peterson. And Nick Everett bites the top of the strike zone. Or it'll bounce in for strike three and out number three. We will head to the third inning. Apes just three outs away from their fourth FLT championship. But the claw coming to the plate, trying to plate four to keep their season and championship dreams alive. We'll see you in the third inning here in the Fox Lake Football Tournament championship game. Nick Everett will be the leadoff man in the top of the third, and he'll wear that one and start it just how they wanted it. They'll get the leadoff man aboard first base as Isaiah T. Meyer comes up here trying to keep that carousel moving. And Isaiah T. Meyer wears that one on the knee, and the claw will have their first two base runners reach in this one. And now comes up the most dangerous hitter in the FLT this season, Alex Haas. Here comes the pitch. And strike three, Mark Ogden places it in the lower outside quadrant for the first out of the inning. That was huge. There's a big difference between two on, one out, and bases loaded, no outs. And Mark Ogden found the right one for him. And deja vu, Nick Everett's second hit-by-pitch walk of the inning. That will load up the bases and bring the tying run to the plate. It'll be Isaiah Tmeyer at the moment here. Ball four, and the tying run is aboard first base, bringing the leading run to the plate. And it is again one of the most dangerous hitters in the FLT, Alex Haas. And ball four off the knee. That one looks like it's stung, but it'll bring in a run. The claw are within two, and that tying run moves up to second base for defending rookie of the year, Nick Everett. And Mark Ogden freezes him with a riser there, as Nick thought that one was going to be low, but it comes up and bites the zone, and the claw are down to their final out. It'll be Isaiah T. Meyer with the opportunity to keep the season alive. Here comes the 1-2 pitch. Check swing, but it's in there anyway for strike three. The Apes will make Fox Lake Wiffle Ball Tournament history. They become the first team to win back-to-back -back championships as they win this one to win their fourth ever championship. Mark Ogden does it on the mound. Tanner Peterson does it at the plate. As he gets sprayed there with the champagne by FLTV's Adam Willie. As the Apes celebrate this one, a long, hard day for the team. Tanner Peterson, Mark Ogden, and Kelly Collins, the emergency player, will go down in history once again as the Apes win this one 11 to 9. We want to thank you all for watching the 2021 Fox Lake Wiffle Ball Tournament. I'm going to send it down to FLT Commissioner Kyler Stork for today's post-game interviews.
Welcome in, Wiffle Ball fans. I'm here, FL TV Commissioner Kyler Stork. I'm with uh, the Claw. An impressive day. Um, they lost the first game of the bracket and they made all the championship and fought their hearts out. Uh, take me through your emotions there, Nick, as uh, you're in the championship and you guys made it close and it was very interesting. Uh, what's going through your guys' head? Well, we didn't end up on the end that we wanted to, but uh, it was fun, it was very competitive, and it was a good experience. Isaiah, this is your fourth year in the Fox Lake Football Tournament. It's your first FLT championship. How'd it go? I know you lost, but take me through it. Uh, overall, I think it went pretty well. Um, you know, Mark's tough to hit, obviously. That's about it. Alex, this is your third year. You've been in the championship every single year that you've been in this wiffle ball tournament. You gave it your all today. I'm very proud of you. Take me through uh, cool play and the bracket and just how you had it. How fun of you you had this year. Oh, I just had a really fun year with these guys. We were really competitive. Um, just unfortunately, couldn't get it done. That's the spirit we love. Uh, Isaiah, it's my pleasure as tournament commissioner to pre present the claw with the second place runner-up trophy, which is very, very impressive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Nick. You got three rookie of the year. <laughs> <laughs> you stack them all up. Uh, Stacking these stack, up. Yeah, you stack them up. Stacking the second place. Yeah. <laughs> I got three of them. Ha uh -huh. ha. Uh -huh. I got three of them. Uh -huh. I got three of them, too. Ha uh -huh. <laughs> Welcome in, Wiffle Ball fans. I'm FL TV Commissioner Kyler Stork here. The Apes just beat the Claw 11-9 to take their fourth FLT title. And the first time in FLT history, a team has gone back-to-back. -back. Congratulations to the Apes. Tanner, you've uh, run this franchise since year two. It's your sixth year as a franchise. Take me to the emotions this year. It's kind of unexpected things that happened. Uh, what's your game plan going in? And you obviously won the championship, so it worked pretty well. Well, I didn't really run the franchise. I didn't really have to do much. Uh, I'm not recruiting anyone. <laughs> But uh, our game plan, you know, Mark had work, so we were just trying to work around that. Um, Kelly came in as our emergency sub, and I surprised surprised me, and I think she surprised a lot of people out here. Uh, you know, our game plan was just uh, have Mark throw as many innings as he can. It was a little shaky up on the mound, but uh, but it was good enough for us to take the win. And uh, that was pretty much just our game plan. Same thing as every year, and it'll be the same thing in the future. All righty, Kelly. You're a rookie, <laughs> and most rookies in this tournament usually win the tournament, so congratulations on your first FLT championship. Take me through the emotions uh, going through pool play and today. How are you feeling about the Apes? They obviously won, but just take me through uh, your first ever Fox Lake Wolf Football tournament. It was good. Overall, you know, it was really hot and tiring, but um, I'm glad Tanner asked me to play in the games as a sub for Mark, and um, I, you know, I just tried my best and went out there and had a really good fun time, and I'm glad that they were able to bring home the championship. Definitely. The FLT is all about fun. Now, I saved the best for last. The FLT GOAT, Michael Jordan, I mean Mark Ogden. Take me through it, Mark. You're the veteran. No one can hit you. Did you know you are going to win when you pitched the first inning and gave up three runs was a shaky because we didn't even score off you last year. What was going through your head? Yeah, well, I couldn't really find the strike zone this year. Uh, it seemed like the past two games we played, we were down in the first inning and came back, so I still had faith. Uh, me and Kelly's boyfriend, Tanner, right here, came back, <laughs> and, uh, came back with some big home runs, so we ended up winning. Absolutely. Um, the Apes, I'm very proud to have you in the Fox Lake Wolf Tournament. You're the world's greatest Wolf Ball team today. So it's my pleasure to present you guys with these trophies. First, Kelly Collins, congratulations. Thank you. My wingman, vice commissioner, he's been there with me since day one. I appreciate everything you do for this tournament. Congratulations on your fourth FLT championship. Thank you. Mark, no one can hit you. You're stubborn, but you're a great athlete. So congratulations <laughs> on your fourth FLT title. It's my pleasure to announce the first year champion, Matt Ogden, will present our new trophy to the Aces. Congratulations, guys. You guys are. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Wiffleball fans, for watching the 2020 Fox Lake Wiffleball Tournament.
We know it's on circumstances here in the COVID era, but we hope to see you guys next year when there's hopefully a vaccine. So for once and for all, thank you for watching the 2020 Fox Lake Football Tournament. This is Kyler Stork, once and for all, signing off.